honestly, I probably don't even bother using a lot of the other word processors out there. I just go straight into Visual Studio Code because of being able to do stuff like this. Pretty sweet. In case you are wanting to get started right now, let's go download Visual Studio Code and get you set up so that you can see how powerful the things are in this program. I just go straight to Visual Studio Code, even for stuff that isn't code. So let me show you how to get this installed. We're gonna go to code.visualstudio.com slash download. The easy way to find this page is to simply type in download VS code in Google and you should see this, uh, but make sure you're in the right place. That would be this domain right here. It is a Microsoft product, but it is totally free and it works as you can see on all of the major operating systems. So go ahead and choose the correct one for you and your situation. Uh, I'm on a Mac, so that happens to be the one that I will install. So we'll just click this. So it's as easy as that. We're just going to download this zip file and then we're going to install it like any other program we might have uh, installed on our computer before. So go ahead and find it, uh, the folder that you want to put it into, save that. And as soon as it's done, if you're in Chrome, it's going to show you down here. Go ahead and click it and it's going to unzip. And now it's ready for you to go ahead and click on this to open it up and you're ready to go. So if I still have not managed to quite convince you to take the leap and get this on your computer right now, let's go ahead and go to this video playlist about automation that you can do right now with Visual Studio Code.